Flanked by Republican Senators Tom Cotton of Arkansas and David Perdue of Georgia, President Donald Trump endorsed their proposed legislation that would cut legal immigration to the United States in half. Trump called it the most significant reform to our immigration system in half a century. This legislation demonstrates our compassion for struggling American families who deserve an immigration system that puts their needs first and that puts America first. Cotton and Purdue said an influx of low-skilled immigrants has pushed down the wages of working Americans. We can all agree the goals of our nation's immigration system should be to protect the interests of working Americans, including immigrants, and to welcome talented individuals who come here legally and want to work and make a better life for themselves. Senior advisor Stephen Miller said one key feature of the measure would be to end and the so practice known as chain migration. Individuals right now who are receiving green cards, they can bring in, say, an elderly relative who can immediately go on to um, public assistance if they become unable to support themselves financially. And then that person can bring in a relative who can bring in a relative who can bring in a relative, and that's why they call it chain migration. The proposed system favors English speakers who have job skills and financial self-sufficiency. Democrats, some Republicans, and many immigrants' rights groups oppose the move, arguing it could be counterproductive. A lot of the lower-skilled immigrants are contributing vitally to our country. They're doing things like helping our farms work better, doing manufacturing jobs, um, and also working in the home. So without those people, we would actually, it, it would make it much harder for all of us to do the jobs we're doing and for our economy to function. White House officials say Trump's endorsement is an attempt to push forward the national conversation on immigration in hopes of creating momentum on one of his key campaign issues. But it's unclear whether Congress will act on this measure anytime soon. Peter Heinlein, VOA News, The White House.